Nambu dasa, Namu dasa, Bagawato, Arahado, Sama, Sambu dasa. So when we are going to talk about meditation, then we also have to know how we have to start with. So first we have to feel free. So no depression, no pressure. Mm -hmm. This is very important in meditation. Then you may have seen, or you may have known, or you, have, you may have learned that there are some meditators, they have seen the light, they have seen the nimitta, they have attained jhana, or many different things. When you start meditating, don't expect anything. Everything will come naturally. So if you expect something, it becomes an obstacle. So don't create anything also. Then we have to start meditation. So when we are going to meditate, we also have to learn proper settings. You have to sit, keep and cross legs. One leg should be inside, one leg should be outside. Don't press two legs each other. Okay. So your hip should be a little bit higher, using a small cushion under your hip, raise up. Your knee should be lower. So when your knee is lower than your hip, it will be easier for you to keep your head and body straight. And you can keep your hands on the knees or on the lap. You can also join your hands together. So any hands can be on the top. Flexible. So. Then you must slightly close your eyes and mouth. Then don't touch your teeth. If you bite, so if you touch your teeth, you may feel tense in your jaw. So relax your body, relax your mind. Just pay attention somewhere, somewhere around your nose tree where your breath touch, obviously. So your breath will touch anywhere around your nose tree, very obviously. When you are breathing in, breathing out, you must try to know in our breath on the touching point. So don't follow inside your body, don't follow outside your body. Just keep knowing somewhere around your nose tree. So we have three options. The in-breath, the out-breath, and the touching point. As long as you can know one of the three is good enough. But if we don't know the touching point, just knowing breathing and breathing out, it is much better. So as new practitioners, you cannot concentrate very well, you may have a thought. Mm -hmm. When you have very short thoughts, just bring your mind back to the breath, mm -hmm. again and again. So when you have many thoughts, or long thoughts, you can do counting breathing. First you must know in out, then count to one, in out two, in out three, up to eight. As long as you have thoughts, you can do counting one to eight again and again. So if you don't have any thought, you can stop counting, focus on the breath normally. And you may also have pain, discomfort in your legs. As long as it's bearable, keep no breathing. Don't follow any sensations in, the, in your body. But when you feel pain too much and unbearable, you can move your legs slowly and then quietly. So it's a flexible. When you feel pain too much, you can change your legs. You can move your legs. So in every daily activities, when walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, or any other daily activities, you can also keep low breathing normally. So if you move very quickly, you cannot know the breath. If you move slowly, or a little bit slower than normal walking, you can know the breath. As long as you can know breathing normally, no mistake. So as I have recommended in the very beginning, your mind must be free and uncomfortable all the time. The second one is a natural breathing. So don't control the breath, don't forcefully breathe in, or don't create your breath. If you control your breathing too much, you may feel chest pain and suffocating. That means as soon as you feel suffocating and chest pain, you have to know that you are controlling your breathing, you have to relax, Again, you have to restart meditating, focus on the breath normally. So, if you forcefully breathe and breathe out too much, you may feel tense around your nostril. So if you are tumble around the forehead and around the nostril, it's not very comfortable or tension, that means you are forcing too much, making too much effort. So in any condition, trying to know breathing normally, as long as you don't force too much, it will be fine. So sometimes, effort, especially mental energy. Sometimes you may use too much mind power to know the breath. Mm -hmm. If you use too much mind power, you become very tired within a few minutes. 
if you save energy, you can maintain better. So if you fast too much, you cannot maintain more than 20 minutes. So if you become very exhausted within 20 minutes, that means you have used a lot of mind power. After 20 minutes, no more energy to kind of use. You don't wish to meditate anymore. Just sitting and thinking. That means you have used a lot of energy. So if you breathe and breathe out normally, or make efforts normally, you can maintain a very long time. So feel free, be natural.